In options trading, the long straddle and long strangle are two strategies that are very much alike. Both involved by an equal amount of calls and puts with the same expiration date. And both are profitable when there is significant movement in the stock's price, be it up or down. The key word being significant, as these strategies are reliant on a major shift in the stock's price. Let's explore these strategies. First, the long straddle. The long straddle strategy is implemented by simultaneously buying an at-the-money call and an at-the-money put on the same underlying asset, both at the same strike price and expiration date. This places you in a position of profiting whether the stock makes a significant move either up or down. Since you're buying both a call and put at the same time, you're protecting yourself. This strategy is used when you're confident there's going to be significant movement, but you're unsure which direction the stock will go. Let's say that company ABC is due to release their latest earnings statement in a couple of weeks. You have no idea if the results will be positive or not, but you do know that it will impact the stock's price significantly regardless. This is when the long straddle strategy comes into play and puts you in a win-win situation. If the stock goes up, your long call option will increase in value. Alternatively, if the stock goes lower, your long put option profits. The key is that whichever direction it moves, it moves enough that the put or call value increases to more than the combined premium you paid for both options. The risk is that the stock price doesn't move much and the value of your option declines significantly before expiration. Now let's talk about the long strangle. The long strangle strategy is simultaneously buying an out-of-the-money call option with a higher strike price and an out-of-the-money put option with a lower strike price, but on the same underlying asset with the same expiration date. It is used when the investor believes that the stock price will change significantly in either direction, but isn't quite as confident in that. Because the options are both out of the money when you buy them, the entry cost is lower than with a straddle but the range the stock has to move in order for the position to be profitable is greater than with a straddle too. Like a straddle, the main risk with the long strangle are if the stock price doesn't move past the strike prices. In this case, the options expire worthless and you lose the premiums paid for those two options. Let's say company ABC is due to release a new product that has been highly anticipated. In these circumstances, a long strangle is implemented since the probability of a huge increase in stock price is high and you will profit from the call option. But what if the product launch is a disappointment? In this case, the stock price might fall significantly instead. Then you profit from the put option. Either way, you profit from the stock price movement with the strangle and the straddle. After comparing the long straddle and long strangle options trading strategies, you can see that the profit potential range is greater with the long straddle. However, this also carries greater risk due to the higher entry cost. On the other hand, the strangle has a lower profit potential, but also a lower risk due to lower cost of entry. The risk in both strategies is time decay. The stock price has to move significantly, and it has to do this before expiration. Now, as with all strategies, do your research, define your goals, and choose the strategy that will best help you achieve it. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please hit that like button. Also, make sure you subscribe to see more great videos just like this. And if you have any questions, please post them in the comments, and I'll be sure to answer them for you. Thanks for watching.